House. Mr. Manu. Uh, the former president has made it clear that he doesn't want you guys to move forward on this. And judging by his comments, he clearly wants to campaign on this issue. Have you spoken to him about the Senate proposal? And are you simply trying to kill this to help him on the campaign? No, Manu, that's absurd. We have a responsibility here to do our duty. Our duty is to do right by the American people, to protect the people. The first and most important job of the federal government is to protect its citizens. Then why not pass the border bill? The Border Patrol even said they like the bill. It's better than nothing. And nothing has changed in 10 years. We're not doing that under President Biden. We, are, we have only a tiny, as you know, razor thin, actually a one vote majority right now in the House. Our, our majority is small. We only have it in one chamber, but we're trying to, to use every ounce of leverage that we have to make sure that this uh, issue is addressed. I have talked to, to former President Trump about this issue at length, and, um, and he understands that. He understands that we have a responsibility to do here. The president, of course, President Trump, wants to secure the country. President Trump is the one that talked about border security before anyone else did. He ran on, as you remember, building the wall. Why? Because he saw this catastrophe coming. He knew that if we did not get control of it, we would be in this situation. And that's why President Trump took executive actions. He used his executive authority to get that system under control. Mr. Speaker, he, you, he you does have an executive authority right now. Mr. Yeah. Speaker, you talk about H.R. 2. Again, Senator Lindsey Graham, your Republican colleagues say that that stands no chance of passing through the Senate. You have an opportunity to do something right now about the situation at the border, which you've been calling for new legislation on the border since you first took office. But let me ask you about Donald Trump. Trump. He said any Republican who votes for this deal should be ashamed of themselves. You've said you speak to him frequently and that you've discussed this deal with him, quote, at length. Is Donald Trump calling the shots here, Mr. Speaker? Of course not. He's not calling the shots. I am calling the shots for the House. You give illegal taxpayer funded lawyers. So they have millions of dollars in this agreement, in this deal, which we, by the way, killed. I think we killed it. I think it's dead. But you can never say it because bad bills always come back to life because these guys make a lot of money with bad bills. But they give millions, tens of millions of dollars. It's down there to lawyers to represent the illegal immigrants that come into our country. It's, it's not even believable. Every day between now and November, the American people are going to know that the only reason the border is not secure is Donald Trump and his MAGA Republican friends. It's time for Republicans in the Congress to show a little courage, to show a little spine, to make it clear to the American people that you work for them, not for anyone else. I know who I work for. I work for the American people. Because uh, what this bill essentially does is, yeah, you hear a lot of talk on the 5,000 cap, okay? But what that is is, right now, there is no cap. So everyone that comes across that for time gets for me. Under this bill, everyone's going to get detained. They're not just going to be releasing. Why is it 5,000? Because they're saying, you know, they're going to hold up to 5,000 if they're going to go through the process, but the process are more strict than they are now. So now the asylum officer will make the determination on the asylum, and if they don't have a good asylum claim, they're going to get, you know, sent back immediately without ever getting released. And as opposed to now, everyone's getting released. And, uh, you know, they're not showing up for court or, you know, their court date is 10 years down the road. This will eliminate that. Um, it's, like I said, it's not perfect. Uh, I wish everyone was getting detained. So obviously the family units are still going to have to go through, you know, other processes. Some of them may have policy differences. Some of them have been very clear with me. They have political differences with the bill. They say it's the wrong time to solve the problem or let the presidential election solve this problem. In fact, I had a popular commentator four weeks ago that I talked to that told me flat out before they knew any of the contents of the bill, any of the content, none, nothing was out at that point, that told me flat out, if you try to move a bill that solves the border crisis during this presidential year, I will do whatever I can to destroy you because I do not want you to solve this during the presidential election. By the way, they have been faithful to their promise and have done everything they can to destroy me in the past several weeks. Um, 
Donald Trump did endorse you. Um, he did. But regardless of that, why do you think he's going after you and this border bill, considering this is the most, and I've been in this town for a lot longer than you have, this is the most conservative immigration compromise that I have ever seen come to this level. Previous efforts under Bush and under Obama were far more uh, permissive, far more liberal than this. Why do you think Trump's going after you? Yeah, I, I, I don't know, obviously, other than he, he has a different job than I have right now. His job right now is running for president, and so he's trying to be able to manage that, and obviously a chaotic border is helpful to him in the process on that. But also remind folks, during the Trump administration, we also had days of more than 4,000 people that were illegally crossing the border under the Trump administration in 2019, and they were struggling because there's gaps and loopholes in the law. Yeah, this, but Senator you know, you know, you know, Donald Trump, so we were at a 45 year low in illegal right. crossings under Donald Trump. And, and that's that's just a fact. I, I, I've got the, the oh, no, evidence to dramatically fewer a, a 45 year Donald low Trump under Donald Trump in 2019. We also had days of 3000, 4000, 4500 that were happening. But nothing like period. what we've seen right now. OK, let, let me just trying to figure out how to be able to implement it. OK, I'm sorry to talk over you, Senator. I think we might have a, a, a little bit of a delay. Um, no, we're not going to just pass the buck and say that, oh, any president could walk in and secure the border. I saw former President Trump make that allegation earlier today on one of his social media posts. All the president has to do is declare the border is closed and it's closed. Well, with all due respect, that didn't happen in 2017, 18, 19, and 20. There were millions of people who came into the United States during those four years. Oh, I, I, think, I think the border is a very important issue for uh, Donald Trump. Uh, and the fact that he would communicate to uh, Republican senators and Congress people that he doesn't want us to solve the border problem because he wants to blame uh, Biden for it is, uh, is really appalling. But the, but the reality is that, that uh, we have a crisis at the border. The American people are suffering as a result of uh, what's happening at the border. Uh, and someone running for president ought to try and get the, uh, you know, the problem solved solved as opposed to saying, hey, save that problem. Don't solve it. Uh, let me take credit for solving it later. Trump is obviously pulling the strings here. He says he wants to fix the border himself, but he had four years to do it and nothing really changed. Did I mention he says he wants to be a dictator? Oh yeah, don't forget that part too. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button, it really helps. See you next time on Absurd TV.